Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tuesday's part enrichment video. I know I look a little bit silly today, but that's because our craft we're gonna make today is a little bit fun and a little bit silly as well. Today's video is gonna be a pretty short video, but packed with lots of fun. We are going to be making one of these cute little caterpillars, and I call them crawling caterpillars, and you're gonna have to wait and find out why I call them that. I'm going to flip you guys around and show you guys all the materials you need. All right, guys, I have my materials laid out for you. I have a scrap piece of paper because we don't need that much paper, a pair of scissors, my short little six inch ruler, a pencil, a green color pencil. Your color can vary to whatever you want it to be, but I chose green. And you need a drinking straw. I know, weird, right? and a sharpie or a marker or something that darker that will draw a face. A regular pencil would also do. You don't need to have a marker. All right, so move it aside. Take my piece of paper. You only need a six inch by one inch strip and that's exactly what this ruler gives me. Take my pencil, trace it. And remember, we are paper superheroes, and I'm gonna help save my paper. That's why I'm using a scrap piece of paper. You can see this is where I cut hearts out from my last project. I'm also using the very edge of the paper. So, cut your rectangle out. Your caterpillar could be bigger than this if you wanted to. You can experiment with different sizes. All right. If you want to leave your paper white, you can. If you want to color it, whatever color you want to, you can. But today, it has to be a color pencil. Crayon does not work, markers does not work, and uh, paint would not work. It needs to be the lightness of the color pencil because your paper has to be super, super light. All right, so using the rest of my paper as my little scrap paper, I can color my caterpillar. You could add fun little designs to your caterpillar. You don't have to color it one solid color. I actually think I might do that once I get my green color down first. All right, so I'm gonna come back in with a darker color. And I'm gonna make little stripes for my caterpillar. There we go. I made them random placements. Okay, we don't need our scrap paper anymore. Don't need our ruler or our scissors anymore. Um, I tried doing this project with construction paper. It really did not work very well. It becomes too thick and it won't crawl for us. So, uh, the lighter the paper, the better. If you guys only have white paper at home, use the white paper. Um, experiment with different kinds of papers. See which one makes you the best caterpillar. I have a feeling if you have a really old school thing called a phone book, phone book pages would make a really great caterpillar. The lighter the paper is, the better this caterpillar is. So this is my blank side, the side I did not color. I'm going to fold this caterpillar in half. Smoosh. I'm going to take my thumb. I'm going to rub it along the line. That's going to secure the fold. Open it up. Now we have this middle fold. I'm going to take the bottom, fold it up to that line. Do my nail across it. Take the top, fold it down to that line. Again, use my nail. Then one more time, take the bottom to that middle fold line, take the top to the fold line. Now this pattern is very important. If you don't fold it this way, you're not gonna get this good arch on the caterpillars and then it's not going to crawl. So right here, I'm gonna fold it again, get my scissors back, gently round the corners you don't have to cut a whole lot off of the caterpillar, just a little bit to make it round. And if you make a mistake, it's okay. 
try again. Okay, brush my little crummies. So we're going to open it up. And the bottom piece should go flat. Did you guys see that? That's what it should look like. So grab a pencil or a marker or something and add whatever kind of face you want. Here's my little face. On this little guy, I give him a little sticky out tongue. All right, are you ready to see the magic of this fun craft? Remember, I had that drinking straw? Okay, guys, you're not gonna blow a constant stream. You're gonna blow, stop, blow, stop, blow, stop. You guys ready? Did you see him? Let's do that again. So cute. <laughs> there you go. There's my simple crawling caterpillar. You make one, your brother or your sister makes one, and now you guys have a fun game you can play indoors. See whose caterpillar can cross the line the fastest. Have some races. Make a day of it. Experiment with different kinds of papers. See which one works better. I hope you guys have lots of fun with this one. Happy creating!